welcome back to my channel. So today is going to be a Q&A, as you can tell by the title, and we have a lot of questions to get through. So for some of the questions, I wrote down your names, and for some of them, because the Snapchats were coming in so fast, I couldn't get down some of the names at the end. So I'm really, really sorry for that. So from now on, if you ever have any questions, probably the best thing to do would be send them on the actual chat part of Snapchat instead of sending it as a picture. Um, or you could do what Isabella did for instance and write like from Isabella on the bottom because then when they're coming through really really fast I can I can obviously quickly screenshot them and I've still got your name on there at some place if that makes sense. So the first question is from Mia and she's asked what my favourite eye palette at the moment is and why. So I've actually got two that are my favourite eye palettes at the moment and the first one is the Tartlet palette which I think everybody needs in their collection. Um, it's just a palette full of mattes as you will know from my videos absolutely love that it's a must must have for any eye makeup look that i'm doing but i've also been loving the shan xo palette as well which is amazing because it's got gorgeous crease colors it's got shimmers in there as well i just really, really like the palette erin connor asks what your idea of the perfect date now i'd like to say oh i'd love to be like whisked away to rome or whatever that would be an amazing perfect date but i kind of just like it when when me and Blake just kind of go for a meal or if we go off like to the cinema or whatever, ever have like a night where you think right we're going to spend time together but you can't be bothered like going out and whatever. So what me and Blake do instead is we go to the shops, buy loads of junk food, buy loads of sweets, buy loads of drinks, maybe get a takeaway or get a McDonald's or whatever and we come back and we watch a film, we rent a film off the Xbox, watch a film and just pig out and just lay and just snuggle and pig out and just laugh at whatever film it is that we're watching because it's normally a funny one that we always end up watching. I, I think that is like a perfect date for me. For me and Blake that's a perfect date. <laughs> Holly asked what is your favourite highlighter? My favourite highlighter has got to be the Laura Geller Gilded Honey Highlighter. It actually looks like this. You'll saw loads of different YouTubers rave about it. I do have it on today. I think it is absolutely stunning. It's like joint top now with my Mary Luminizer by the Balm. This is more of like a want to make an impact highlighter. Whereas the Mary Luminizer can be so versatile. You can have it really nice and subtle and you can also have it in your face. Bam! Like a disco ball as well. I can't pronounce your name. I'm really sorry. It's M-A-E-B-H. I'm not even going to try and butcher it. Um, and she's asked are you ever going to come and do a meet up in Ireland? I'd love to do a meet up anywhere <laughs> but I don't feel like I have a big enough following to do a meet up. Um, obviously there is 5,000 of you and that is like so much but I feel like there's 5,000 of you and you're just kind of like scattered everywhere so I feel like if I actually got bigger and got a bigger following then I would do meet, meet ups and I'd absolutely love, ooh, excuse me I got the hiccups. <laughs> I'd absolutely love to come to Ireland and do a meet up, so maybe one day in the future. <laughs> and she also asked, if you could be a celebrity for a day, who would you be? Beyonce? Like, like I would even have to think about it, I'd totally be Beyonce. <laughs> so Lucy Higgins asked, what was the last photo you took on your phone? So the last photo that I took on my phone, I can show this now because it'll be up after my mum's birthday, is actually a picture of me, um, designing a mug for mother's, for my mum's birthday which is the 17th of June so you'll see this video well 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 after that <laughs> um, so it's got some pictures of Millie on and my mum and Millie and Kaiser and Millie she also asked if you had to choose one meal to eat for the rest of your life what would it be? oh I don't know I do really like pizza could I eat it for the rest of my life? it'd have to be cooked a certain way I'm going to say pizza but I'm going to say pizza cooked in like one of them stone um, baked oven things. I mean, Blake went to Turkey. There's one of them at our hotels, like this like little pizza part of our hotel. Um, and it was amazing. Like we didn't like the food that was in the hotel, but we liked this pizza. So we had like two pizzas a day and that was our food for the day. <laughs> and I could eat that pizza for the rest of my life. I'd never, ever get bored of that pizza. <laughs> Where do you see yourself in 10 years time? So it's also asked by Lucy as well. I see myself, what's so I'll be 31 
Hopefully I'll be in America by then, if, if you still don't know that is my dream, to be moving to America. It's also Blake's dream as well, so we're kind of like set for the future together. Um, so yeah, we're, I, I see myself in America. I, I hopefully still see myself doing this, and I hope I'm qualified. I hope I'm, I'm doing a job that I enjoy day in, day out. I hope, I'm, I hope I have a tan. I hope I'm back blonde. Because I don't want to be going grey when I'm 31, because I'm pretty sure I'll be fighting against that anyway. <laughs> well, maybe not 30s, but you know what I mean. Um, yeah, I, I hope that I'm in America and I'm hope I'm enjoying, I hope I'm still with Blake. I am hope that I'm in a career that I, I'm really happy with. Rachel M asked, When did you get into makeup and do you have any tips? I have mentioned this in my last Q&A video, so I'm going to briefly go over it. I got into makeup maybe like secondary school, like the last few years of secondary school and I really liked bronzer, really liked mascara, kind of got into the eyeliner game as well, not winged, just like in your <laughs> waterline, wasn't that kind of uh, um, good with makeup, I'm still not really that good with <laughs> eyeliner now. Um, so yeah, that's when I kind of got into it and then when I was leaving school and going to college was when I kind of like really fell in love with makeup. Um, and do I have any tips? My tips would be just experiment. Like it can come off at the end of the day. If it looks naff, you can wipe it off. You can try again. Don't take it too seriously. So Chloe's asked quite a few questions. The first one is, what YouTubers do you love and love the most? I definitely love Shanexo the most. I used to love Nicole Guerrero like the most, um, but now it's like Shanexo. I think it's because she uploads more more frequently and she does the daily vlogs as well which I absolutely love Um, I love I don't know I just love the fact that she obviously I'm not blonde anymore but we used to kind of be like blonde together she does fake tan but she can kind of like fluctuate like me as well so if we kind of like the skin the same kind of um skin tone as well so like what normally would suit her would like look look good on me as well like kind of color wise and stuff like that um, Sh um, Jacqueline Hill, yes, Jacqueline Hill, yes. Really loving Jeffree Star recently, really, really like Jeffree Star. But like, if I ever have bedding time, like when I was doing my exams and stuff, and I was gonna check YouTube to see if anyone's uploaded anything, it'd always be to check if Shannon had uploaded anything. And she'd be the only exception that I'd watch when they came to exams and if I've got barely any time. So I'd say Shannon XO the most. She also asked, how did you deal with people from school? Slash college slash uni or just people you generally know given possible negative opinions when you started your YouTube channel, did it bother you? Um, I kind of did, I, I mentioned this in my last video if you want to um, watch that video instead, my first Q&A. Um, <laughs> I kind of like, I kind of just dealt with it head on, just kind of, I don't know, I just kind of put it back to the back of my mind. It did bother me, it, it bothered me a lot. But I made it out that it didn't bother me. So then I thought that like, like this is just me being like, right, this is what I'm doing. Get over it. Why has it got to affect you? Kind of thing. But deep down it, it did really bother me. It did really get upset, especially when it was close friends that were um, taking the mick out of me. Like I said, they used to go around one person's house and they used to all watch my videos and take the mick out of me for it. And they were meant to be like my best friends. So... I just kind of like, I mean I don't speak to them anymore and that's one of the reasons why because why do you need friends like that in your life? And um, the best thing to do is to remove yourself away from them positive, um, negative people, that's what I did and I'm glad that I never let them affect me so much and I'm glad that they never made me feel like I had to stop doing this because I would have regretted it so much. And what's even funnier now is like they get in touch with me asking me where can I get this from? Um, what would you recommend for this? I've got this problem blah 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 and I'm just like really? Really? <laughs> it wasn't like that a couple of years ago though, was it? <laughs> so yeah, it, it, just remove yourself from the negative people. That's all I'm going to say. God, I can see this video is long already. I'm really sorry, but if you have asked a question, it is going to get answered. So please feel like you can skip until you hear your question. <laughs> so the next question is from Isabella and she asked me, what's your nighttime routine? Um, kind of doesn't really exist. My nighttime routine is Take my makeup off, if I've got any makeup off, I use the Garnier Bacilla water, maybe put some moisturiser on, maybe some eye cream if I'm feeling fancy, and then take my pill, and then take my contacts out, put my glasses on, hair up in a bun, and to bed. 
that's my nighttime routine. <laughs> that's why I never did a nighttime video because I knew that I'd be faking it by being like, oh, I put this cream on and I put this cream on and I put this cream on. No, I really don't. <laughs> I'm too lazy. Um, which is why I never really get through skincare products. <laughs> So Izzy asked, what is the one makeup product you cannot live without? And I generally couldn't pick one, it'd have to be three. I couldn't live without mascara, lipstick and bronzer. The next question is from Morgan and I absolutely love this question. So she asked, what Disney film is your favourite and why? And I was sat there thinking, oh god, what could I pick? Like the certain Disney films are just like, yeah, you just can't top it. But when I think back to my childhood, and like the one Disney film that I'd watch, like the video, yes I'm, I'm, I'm from that era, the video would stop and I'd have to rewind the video, well my nana used to have to rewind it, or my mum or my dad, <laughs> would rewind the video and I'd watch it again from the beginning, constantly just back to back like that and that was The Lion King. You can't beat The Lion King. Then like when I got a bit older I kind of fell in love with Hercules and I would watch that over and over again. And I mean like a lot older that I fell in love with Hercules. But I think back to like the one film that was like my Disney film and that was The Lion King. Hope asked me what chocolate foundation you'd use for a day look and or a night out. So my night out fair foundation has got to be the MAC Studio Sculpt Foundation, which is one that's in the tube. I absolutely love that for a night out. It's like my go-to one. If I know that I'm going for a night out and I want to look flawless, I know that foundation is never going to let me down. As for a day foundation, I love the um, YSL Fusion Ink, or I love the number seven Stay Perfect one if I want like a light kind of um, coverage, whereas the YSL is more like full-on makeup kind of look have the YSL one on today actually. Mrs G has asked, if you had to pick only one brand of makeup to use for the rest of your life, what would it be and why? Right, I'm gonna have to go with MAC. And this is generally only because of how much makeup MAC has. You'd never get bored of the selection. It's got everything that you possibly would need. So I'd have to say MAC. I was thinking YSL, but they haven't got as big of a range as what MAC do. So I'm gonna have to say MAC. Sarah has asked, if you could listen to only one song for the rest of your life, what would it be? Oh my god, one song? It has to be a Beyonce song. Because I don't think I could go the rest of my life not listening to Beyonce. I'm obsessed with Beyonce. Well, not obsessed is what I used to be, but I really love Beyonce. I'm going to see her soon. I can't wait. I won't be able to pick a song. I like Beyonce Resentment, but that's not really going to be like... I give in the party mood, get ready for a night out. I don't even want to listen to that. It'd have to be a Beyonce song, whatever it was. I won't be able to pick right now, but it'd have to be a Beyonce song regardless. <laughs> Chloe has asked a couple of questions, and the first one is, how do you deal with the stress of exams? I never, <laughs> to put it bluntly and straight to the point, I never dealt with the stress of exams. Um, I got really down. I got referred to the counselling service again. Um, which is what happened to me my first year of uni. Um, got referred to the counselling service again. I went generally went and asked for help this time though because I knew that I was getting back to that stage again. Um, so in regards for dealing with the stress of exams, I just never, I never dealt with it. <laughs> I got really down and I couldn't really handle it. And do I tell you? Yeah, I'm going to tell you, it's just because I've had people that have messaged me saying like they're going through hard times, they've got mental health issues and stuff. But I was having suicidal thoughts. Oh, I knew I wasn't going to do anything, like I said this to Blake um, when I finally eventually did tell Blake about the thoughts. Um, just because I was worried about myself so I, I decided to tell him instead of keeping it to myself. Um, and... I knew I wasn't going to do anything, but I didn't like the fact that I was having them thoughts. I knew I wasn't going to ever, I knew I wasn't going to ever like harm myself or hurt myself. Um, I knew that deep down, but then I was thinking, well, why am I having these thoughts? It's not normal for me to be having these thoughts. Um, so that's why I told Blake. So yeah, that's what happened. <laughs> um, next question. Let's go on a bit more of a like hard one. Next question from Chloe is, why did you decide to go for grey with your hair? I was literally on Pinterest. And I was like, I'm bored of my hair, I want it to be a different colour blonde, don't know what I want. And I like typed in, like, I can't remember what I typed in, but it came up with like all these like silvery grey hair colours. And I sent it to my friends and they were like, yes. Then I, if you've watched my vlogs, they were like, oh, 
I tried the app where it changes your hair colour for you and then I was like, yeah, that's what I want. <laughs> so that's when I went grey. And the next question is, what is a good long lasting drugstore lip lipstick slash liquid lipstick? A drugstore one? Oh, a, a good long lasting one. It's not liquid lipstick. A good long lasting one would be the Rimmel Kate Moss ones, you know, on the red tubes. They are really, 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 really long lasting lipsticks. And like five pounds is such a good price as well. Another Chloe asks, what motivates you to carry on with YouTube? This really motivates me, the fact that I'm just sat like talking to you. Like this whole Q&A thing and like you sending me questions and me being able to talk to you on Snapchat and stuff. This is what motivates me. When you give my video a thumbs up or when you comment, especially when you comment in my, in my videos, or even just seeing like you people subscribe to my channel, that's what motivates me because I know that people are actually watching, that people are enjoying my content, and it's actually like valuable for me. Like it's actually good for me to be doing this. I'm actually helping out in some kind of way, and I'm making friends along the way as well. So that's what kind of motivates me. Another Chloe <laughs> also asked me the same. Asked me what motivates me to do YouTube and she also asked why I left Benefit. I haven't done a video on this yet, I will be doing a video on this all in due time. It's too much for me to go into this video because this video will be long by the time we get to this point already and I've got so many more questions. Eva has asked, if you could own £1 million worth of any brand, what would the brand be? Mac. Totally, totally Mac because I could own everything in the, in the brand and I could have everything. I wouldn't need to buy... Well, I still would buy stuff, but I wouldn't need to buy makeup again for the rest of my life. I still would, but that's not the point. <laughs> Erin asked me, what's your favourite lipstick at the moment? Um, my favourite lipstick at the moment is probably... Oh yeah, I'm going to say this one. It's probably this one from um, Stila. It's the liquid lipstick in the shade Patina and I love this. Absolutely love it. It's so long lasting as well. Shaz is asked, best lip product for people who don't wear lipstick. Um, when she asked me this, I was thinking, mm, I'd say something like a tinted lip balm or a gloss or even just like a really sheer lipstick that's like really glossy. Charlotte is asked, what's your favourite makeup products and what's your dream job and why? My favourite makeup products are probably, at the moment, the Laura Geller um, Gilded Honey Highlighter. I've been loving the Chanel, Tanda Chanel. Oh my god, I tried a Makeup Geek foiled eyeshadow the other day for the first time. I think it's a grandstand shade. Love that. That was amazing. That's it. Let's just say them three for now. And what's my dream job and why? I mean, my dream job would be to, from what I've heard about it, my dream job would probably be to be a clinical psychologist, which helps people who have mental health problems, um, kind of like diag helps to give them like diagnosis and recommend like treatments for them and stuff. But that is something that it'll take a long time for me to work up to. On the other side, we take away the whole like my degree and the like academic side of what my dream job would be. My other dream job would be a full-time YouTuber. I don't know whether I, the dream job, is ever going to be possible because the clinical psychology one is ridiculously hard to get onto and I don't know whether I have the capability to get onto that. And that's not me bringing myself down or not believing in myself. I just don't know whether I would be intelligent enough for that. Like, I don't know, I don't know if I'm academic enough for that kind of job, but I'd absolutely love to do that job and help people who have mental health issues. As for full-time YouTuber, I just don't think it's ever possible because I've been doing this for quite a few years now, on and off, um, and yes, there's 5,000 of views, and that's freaking amazing that there's 5,000 of views, but it's also pretty naff compared to full-time YouTubers who have like a million or whatever. So for my accomplishment, like this is amazing having 5,000, like absolutely amazing, but for me to become a full-time YouTuber, I'm nowhere near it to that point to become a full-time YouTuber. Like I'm, to this day right now, it is 15th of June, I still have never been paid by YouTube. I am owed money. I got in touch with my company. I am owed a hundred pound off them, which I don't mind sharing off you. But that hundred pound is from back from the past two years. So £100 over two years isn't really much, especially if like, I wanted to go full time. That's not even going to pay for my car insurance for one month, never mind for over two years of all my bills and everything. So I don't feel like I'll ever become a full time YouTuber. 
but I'd love to. And the same for clinical psychologists, but I'd love to become that as well. Chloe, another Chloe, this, I've got quite a lot of Chloe's on um, Snapchat. Chloe asks, who inspired you to do YouTube? P.S. Love you. P.S. I love you too. Um, who inspired me to do YouTube would probably be... Okay, so I'm going to go back to like the nitty 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 beginning of when I first like started watching YouTube videos. And if you know my channel, you know I used to start off with doing singing videos and then went on to makeup. And what kind of made me go on to makeup, which you'll probably be like, really? Would probably be Graveyard Girl. And I used to watch her, like Bunny, I used to watch Bunny years and years back. Like, I used to love watching Bunny. And then I kind of like met, like, found um, Wayne Goss. And then I kind of found like Nicole Guerrero um, and people like that. And then I just, I don't know, I just kind of got into it. Like I got into it before I even saw Wayne Goss's kind of videos. Um, it was more like Graveyard Girl that really got me into it. Which is quite funny because she's not dominantly a like makeup YouTuber. But I love her personally. <laughs> she has brought out a collection with Tarte recently though which I think looks amazing. I'd love to get my hands on that. <laughs> Izzy Croston has asked, what was your favourite YouTube video to film? My favourite video to film is always a haul. Love filming hauls. I don't know what it is. I think it's because when I first started I was always buying things because I didn't have a big makeup collection because I'd only just got into it. So I was always buying things to try out. And I just loved, I absolutely loved filming hauls and I do love them still. I don't know what it is, I'm just like, yes, let's share this. <laughs> Amiris asked me, sorry if I've, if I've pronounced that wrong. If you could only ever use makeup products from one brand, which makeup brand would you choose? Oh sorry, I've already answered that one before um, and I said back. Georgia has asked, do you miss working on makeup counters and what is your favourite foundation? I do really miss work, working on makeup counters. I miss like being in the know of everything and knowing when, it, when things are coming out and getting, like when a new product comes out, like for instance, if, if Benefit had a new product coming out, we'd get it on the counters before it'd actually obviously be put onto the counters. We'd get it first so then we'd like be able to swatch it and play around with it a bit. I miss all that. I miss being able to like, see what other makeup counters are getting in stock and playing around with their new products and whatever and I'm the biggest thing that I miss from working on a makeup counter is the people that I worked with and like I was out of the mall on Saturday night and it was just amazing like do you ever like sit there and just look at people and be like damn it I've missed you so much like I didn't realise how how nice it felt to be around you until I've been around you again and it's been so long it just it just melted my heart so yeah, I do miss working on makeup counters, but I don't miss having to traffic stop. Do not miss having to traffic stop. <laughs> My favourite foundation, probably, foundation that's never let me down, it's always the MAC Studio Sculpt. We never wear it on a day-to-day -day basis, because it is really, really thick, but it's never, ever let me down, ever. Where, for instance, other foundations have let me down if I wear them day-to-day. -day. Izzy Croston has also asked another question, saying, if you had a choice to meet one celebrity of your choice, who would you pick, dead or alive, and why? Beyonce. <laughs> Straight away. Beyonce. <laughs> if this is you, I'm really sorry, I didn't get a chance to write down your name in time, but you've asked, did you put your name down below if this is you by the way? <laughs> you've asked, did you enjoy working for Benefit or Galan more? I enjoyed the frequency of the customers with Benefit because we got customers more often. I enjoyed talking to a younger audience for Benefit, but I enjoyed the older customers with Galan. I enjoyed, um, the politeness of the older customers and like having like a full on chin wag with the older customers. I couldn't ever pick because they were both so different. Obviously they have like different target audiences and stuff. But as for how the brand treat me and how I was valued and perks and stuff like that, Galan all the way. <laughs> Emma has asked me, how do you balance work and YouTube? I don't. <laughs> I generally don't balance anything. Um, as you can tell from when I was pre-filming all my videos back in February and January, ready to lead me up until the end of May for all of my uni stuff, there was still, I had pre-filmed videos and there were still some things that I missed, there were still some upload dates that I missed on my Sundays and my Wednesdays and stuff. I just, I'm just not very good at balancing things, but kind of with the job that I'm in now, it's kind of better than what I was like when I worked at, at House of Fraser because the job that I'm in now, obviously I do do night shifts. 
um, which are like 12 hour shifts, 7 o'clock at night till 7 o'clock in the morning. But on my night shift, I can actually edit videos and I can sit on my laptop and stuff. So it's kind of like work and YouTube kind of kind of merged together a little bit. Um, but my work is completely different to YouTube and that's not what I mean by that. <laughs> Saz MX is asked, what do you plan to do now you've finished uni and what do you want to do in the future? So my plan when I finish uni, um, if I get the grades that I want, would be to do a master's. I still need to apply. I don't know if I've missed the deadline to apply, so I might even have to wait another year. I'm not too sure. Like, um, I really need to get my bum into gear, really, and, and apply for it. But I do really want to do a master's. Um, so that means another year at uni, and I'll be like half qualified to become a health psychologist by doing that. Um, and my master's would be a health psychology and clinical skills master's. If that's what I end up getting accepted onto, and if I haven't missed the deadline as well. Fingers crossed. Sophia said, um, what inspired you to get into makeup? Which I have already answered. Um, but obviously you're not going to know that because you've sent me it on Snapchat. I've got another one that I didn't have a chance to save your name for. So if this is you, please leave your name down below so then we know that like who you are. <laughs> um, what is your favourite makeup brand and why? Um, my favourite makeup brand would probably have to be... I'm going to say like rather MAC or YSL. Yeah, I'm going to have to just go for one of them too. <laughs> the next one is it with a really pretty cat, but I also didn't get a chance to write down your name because the Snapchats are coming in really quick at this point. This is a question saying what is your favourite item of makeup and why? My favourite item, um, which is kind of linked to one of the other, quest other questions that I've answered, would have to be... Bronzer, mascara and lipstick. I couldn't pick one, I'm sorry. <laughs> so it'd have to be one of them three. Um, Katie's asked me, what is it like working for Glam and why did you leave? Working for Glam was absolutely amazing. Like I absolutely loved working for Glam. And I left just because it was only like a pit stop to get me ready for when I was starting this job that I'm in now and took on more hours. So it was just like, a, she was helping me out to give me some extra money and she needed somebody to fill a gap until she found somebody that could do more hours than what I was doing. So yeah, we both just kind of like fit in, slotting really nicely together and we got on really, really well as well. So it was just like, working for Glam was just amazing, absolutely amazing. I've got another question that I didn't have a chance to write down your name for. Uh, and this is, what was your inspiration for making a YouTube channel? Um, my inspiration to begin with was just me doing singing videos. Like I was really into my singing. I used to go to singing classes a little bit and I used to do um, singing and dancing shows and stuff. Um, so my inspiration obviously started off being singing and then when I started like watching more YouTubers, I was like, oh, I actually quite like like this makeup like side of it. Um, I did do some makeup videos before. I asked if you wanted, to, wanted me to do makeup videos for good. Um, and they got loads of positive like comments and stuff and I thought this is, this is better than doing singing videos because my friends aren't taking the mick out of me as much for doing makeup as what they were for singing. I was getting slurred <laughs> for my singing videos. Just because my friends are such lovely people. <laughs> and the next question also I didn't have a chance to um, jot down. I know it doesn't I hate my camera so much it doesn't actually focus. This question says, random I know, but do you have any siblings? Yes, I have three. I have Millie, which you'll see quite frequently in my videos and vlogs and we've done a video of her doing my makeup before as well and stuff like that um, I, and Millie's five, I also have a little brother who's five as well and then I also have a little sister as well who is, I think she's eight or nine? Eight? One of the two. <laughs> Emma has asked me how do you find out what undertone in your skin you have and what skin type? So for undertone, you can normally tell from like the, the colour of your skin. Like for instance, if you put like a yellow toned foundation on your skin and you put like a pink toned or whatever and you rubbed it in, whatever one blends into your skin more seamlessly, that's the skin tone that you are. So for instance, if you put a pink toned foundation on and your skin looks a bit funny, then you, and then you put a yellow toned foundation on and your skin just kind of blends in together, then it shows that you're yellow torn. That's how I found out anyway, just from putting on pink and be like, wait, my face looks a bit like ashy, like it looks a bit weird. So when I tried yellow, I was like, yeah, I'm definitely yellow toned. And for skin type, just kind of like, see how your skin is during the day. For instance, when I feel my skin, it feels really dry on my cheeks, but throughout the day I get shiny um, through my 
my T zone. Um, so I know that I have an oily T zone and I have um, dehydrated cheeks. And I also got my skin done by Derm Dermalogica. Um, when I was in London with Hannah, we got our skin like looked at through like this little thing that they had on. <laughs> um, and she told me that I had dehydrated cheeks and like a like an oily T zone. So that's how I knew. And Lara has asked, what is your favourite high-end and drugstore makeup brand? Favourite high-end brand is going to have to be like MAC or YSL or something like that. Um, and drugstore makeup brands would have to be something like um, Rimmel, Makeup Revolution, NYX. I'm really enjoying NYX recently as well. That's all I can really think of at the top of my head. So let's move on to the questions off YouTube because this video is ridiculously long and I apologise so much for that. I think next time if I have this amount of questions, I'll split it into two Q&A videos because I think this is a bit too long. Let me know down below if this is too long for you. So Amira has also left a comment on, I'm guessing it's the same Amira off Snapchat, has also left a comment on my YouTube video from last time saying what's your favourite makeup brand and why, which obviously I've already answered, I said that it'd probably have to be MAC um, for my favourite makeup brand. Um, and what's the one makeup item you can never leave the house without? I can leave the house without any makeup on, that doesn't really bother me. But if I want to just look a bit more like put together, I'll put like a bit of bronzer on. Um, maybe do my brows, I put a bit of gummy brow on. And maybe just like a little coating of mascara or whatever. But normally it's like bronzer, just kind of like warm my ghostly skin up. <laughs> and Amanda, which me and Amanda talk quite a lot on, on YouTube, so hi Amanda. Um, Amanda has asked, what do you want to do after uni and where do you see yourself in five years? So after uni, like I said, I'd like to do my masters. Um, if I don't get onto it this year, then I'll be doing it next year. And I see myself in five years, hopefully, like saving money to to be going to America, to move to America, like in a position to be like saving money for it, to finally move, and possibly still like hopefully doing YouTube still, and hopefully with like a job that I like that's to do with my degree. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you have any questions that you'd like me to answer in my next Q&A video, please leave them down below or send them on Snapchat, but it's a lot better to send them down below in the comments bar because then I can actually see your name and make sure that I actually know your name so I can say who asked me what instead of fudging up again. Thank you so much for watching. I'm really sorry it's a long video and I'm just glad that I got through all of your questions and hopefully you get to know me a little bit better now and yeah, leave me some questions down below and I hope to see you in the next video. Don't forget to subscribe if you want to and give it a thumbs up. And yeah, thank you for watching and I hope to see you in my next video. Bye guys.